All right, so as you guys just saw, it's after midnight. We're getting ready to head to Dallas to the Print United show. Uh, Lori's over there. She's already at the door. She's ready to go. The little creepy thing right here, Halloween. Halloween. Say bye, Belle. Bye. We'll see you. See you next year. Not next year, in a little bit. All right, so Lori already walked out on us. She's ready to go to Texas again. We're heading out to Dallas, so that's where we're going right there. Back to Texas. So we'll see y'all in a bit. So here we go. As we can see, it's 12:28. We got approximately 13 hours and 41 minutes. Lori's driving. So we just got here. We stopped about four o'clock in the morning. We took like a two hour nap, but we got here. I want to say all together was about a 16, 17 hour drive. But we got here, not like the last time. We do have a plan this time. We have an Airbnb. So let's go and check this out. So we're settled in. We're waiting for Big Will, my sister-in-law, to get here. We're all going to be going to the Print United show tomorrow, so I'm pretty excited about that. But while we're waiting for them to get here, we're going to be doing this right here. We're going to be editing a video and watching the Astros game at the same time. So pretty excited to get out there and record some stuff to show you guys uh, what a Print United show looks like, like I did with the last one. I showed you guys what the ISS show looked like. Now I'm going to show you what the Print United show looked like. All right, so we're up. It's like 9.30. We're getting ready to eat breakfast. So I made breakfast for myself, my sister-in-law and her friend, and then Big Will and his girlfriend, but they were gone. So, all right, so if you do watch this, Big Will, just know that I did make you breakfast. I'm not going to tell you. You have to watch this to see it. But it's all good. We didn't really tell them we were making breakfast. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to sit down, we're going to eat this, and then we're going to head to Print United in Dallas. He was with Heat Press Nation. He's now with these guys, so I'm gonna let him talk a little bit about his company and what they're doing. So let's go ahead and let's get with him. What's going on, everyone? It's Esteban with All American Print Supply, and uh, today we're exhibiting out here at the Printing United. I think it's the first Printing United. Yeah. Uh, we're in beautiful Dallas, Texas. Weather's been great, and today we're showcasing some of the awesome direct-to-garment printers on the market. 
We've been the leading distributor of the Epson F2100 and we're also carrying the Ricoh RI1000. Both great machines, definitely something for everybody. We also have the smaller format RI100. It's a great little CMYK printer, 8.5 by 11. And uh, we have some of the white toner laser machines from Uninet. Those are awesome value pack machines. They can actually be converted over to die sub with just swapping out the carts. You can do your sublimation transfers on regular copy paper. It's awesome. If you guys would like to get any more information about any of the products or processes, you can reach out to us at AA Print Supply Co. on all your social media. My name is Estevan, feel free to ask for me, but any of our awesome staff would love to help get you some awesome printing solutions. And uh, man, I really appreciate you stopping by yeah. the booth and uh, letting us communicate with your audience. It's a uh, pleasure meeting him. I've always <laughs> seen his videos, it's a pleasure to finally meet him. Hey, this guy's a stud. Thank you everyone for watching, for subscribing. Make sure you drop a comment down below and keep pressing.
everybody, we're here with B-Flex, you know, my number one choice for vinyl. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk to David right here. David's going to go through some of the stuff that Gimme5 has to offer, and he's going to go ahead and do a little demo. Gimme5 here, here. This press is at 285 for four seconds. Um, it's 80 microns thick. You don't need a cover sheet, anything like that, even when you're layering, um, just because of how, how uh, thin and pliable this material is. And it's 100% uh, PU. So I'm going to weave this material to show you how, how easy it is. So we already pre-cut this. So there we go. So we already got this side uh, pressed, so we're going to flip it over, make ourselves a nice little koozie here. So now that we've placed it, we're going to press it. So we've got it set at medium pressure, and remember, 285 for four seconds. So there we go. Hey guys, thank you for stopping by at our booth. Um, what I want to talk to you guys about right now is our brand new collar guide that we came out uh, with for 2019. And it's a brand new look for the color guide for B-Flex. It actually opens up into a little cheat sheet, what we call the, the cheat sheet is a, most like a spec sheet that has every single product line that we have from cut materials all the way down to digital printing materials. And it'll tell you everything about the finish, the application temperature, time, pressure, the line of removal, and the washability of each product line. Now, if you open this guy up, Obviously, we have right now what we give to our distributors, which is the real, the live color swatch that has all the colors with their finish. It's a little, it's, it's actually handmade in Italy for us, and we only give it to distributors. Uh, what I want to talk about is the brand new Gimme 5 colors. We've added 14 new colors to our product line. So now we have, instead of 46 colors, we're going to have a total of 60 colors for our Gimme 5 4 second vinyl. Uh, we're adding also, on top of our Bflex stretch glitter, we're going to be adding our new sandy glitter line. It's going to come available in 24 different colors, and it's going to be able to play around with our Bflex materials in layer as well. And now, a new product that I want to introduce is our stretch material, and this guy is more like a rubber band, and it can stretch t three times its size. So right now, we only have it available in black and white, it also presses at 285, but we will be expanding that line later on. One, one product line that I like to mention as well is our fatty material, which we have added five new colors to, uh, including silver and gold, and also gray and navy and green. So those are the new introduction at Printing United that we have for B-Flex America. Um, if you like to have something similar to this, you can find, you can ask or request from your authorized reseller. We do have a printed version. I, I get it, it's not as fancy as the handmade one, but you'll still be able to see all the colors that we have available, all the product lines. You still get the spec, spec sheet here and our information in the back sheet. You want to contact us for support or any kind of questions you guys have. All right, thank you for coming to our booth and keep pressing. night that we went to the after party I ran into Zach right here and Zach is a rapper not a rapper that goes out and beatboxes and does that kind of stuff but he he's the type of guy that will wrap your car for you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let Zach talk to you for a little bit and let you know what his company has to offer. Hey you guys doing? Hey thank you Jose for coming out we appreciate your help. Yeah, yeah we did meet this guy and it was a pleasure he's really good at what he does um, and he's here helping us out and that's why we're talking to you right now. Uh, my name is Zachariah I'm the president of a company called Rap Nation. Um, so we're your hub for everything wrap. So everything from installing your vehicle, selling, 
um, changing the color of it or starting a new business. You can check it out at rapnation.com. All the social media is Rap Nation USA. So go over there, give us a like and a subscribe. If you need any work done in any country, or excuse me, any state in the entire country, you can give us a call. We have over 2,200 installers who are ready to come on demand and help you out. So if you need a logo, you need a design, hit us up at Rap Nation. If you need uh, any apparel or some video, you gotta hit up Jose. So he does a good job, you guys can tell by what you're watching, and we really appreciate it, thank you. So I want to say thanks to Zachariah for taking the time. Uh, he was wrapping this vehicle right here. I walked up on him and was like, hey man, can I take a couple seconds of your time? And then he was nice enough to stop what he was doing to, to, to shoot a video with us. Uh, so I appreciate that. Yeah, hey, so I'm gonna put his I'm gonna put his information down in the description. It's gonna have his website, his email, and his phone number. So if you guys want to get in touch with him, go down below and get a hold of him. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to be demonstrating this product called Wrap Cut. Okay, so Wrap Cut is um, a filament edge cutting tape where it has um, this tape here and there's this little filament that's in the inside. There's a couple different types. Um, this one just has the regular filament. There's also a wire where it's an aluminum filament and it won't break. So a comparable product would be like a 3M knifeless tape that people use. There's a couple of differences we're going to show you today. So the main thing to start with is that this filament is on the very edge instead of the middle. So that's going to help us determine where our guide is. It changes the way that we do our turns also. So I'll show you that first. That filament is on the edge, okay? We're going to get a way better, um, how do you say it, turn ratio when I go towards, towards that edge. See that? Yes. Sir. The negative is, is when we try to go the opposite way, it doesn't really conform as well, okay? Just because it is on that edge. So I'm gonna get a, a more conformable turn this way, a less conformable turn that way. But if I was to do a circle or something like that, for example, I would just use a second piece and then come in here. Just to match it. Just to match it up. So this basically goes down on the substrate so that could be uh, typically a lot of people do hoods or stripes or trying to get around the edges or something without having to use a knife okay and this is so that the knife doesn't actually cut the substrate so the material comes off we know where our edge is because we laid it in that way the material goes over it now there's a couple important factors here when trying to get the smoothest, straightest cut line that you want to get on that vinyl. So where I see my edge, it's on this side, alright? So after I lay it, I'm going to put it with my thumb, but then what I like to do is I like to get my squeegee, and I like to run it right across the edge, and we get that edge nice and tight. Now when it comes time to pull this, there's a bunch of different ways. So there's a company that makes some kind of little tool that actually pulls this, but this is the way that we do it. So we just get this edge right here. We're gonna fold this back on itself. The reason why we do this is we have a handle. It's really hard to grip just the string itself. It can slip out of your hand. So you see that's on the edge. We're gonna make a small little splice right here on the, on the side without cutting through the tape or the filament. Pull it away. Sit this off to the side so it's out of my way. This is gonna come to the edge right there. So when that comes to the edge, you're gonna wanna put your thumb over it Fold it real tight, pull the string from under, and then go for it. So that starts your cut. Now the important thing to make sure you get a very clean cut, not only did I set that with my squeegee on the edge, but how you pull this now. So if somebody pulls this up in a way, or if they pull it in a 90 degree angle, roughly, or anything like that, you're gonna get a serrated edge because you're pulling against the material and you can see the resistance. So what you wanna do is you wanna pull it as close as you can to the flat area, and then pull it smooth. Now because this tape is on the one edge, this eliminates the need for us to have to lift that material back up and then reset it. So once it's up now, this is what is the excess that goes away. This is our line. And if you look real close here, you can see where you get jagged edges and you get jagged cuts for the way that you pull the actual filament. But when you get to this side, it's a perfect razor-like finish, and that has to do with how you actually use the material. 
So the cool thing about Ravka compared to its competitor, it's probably, I don't know, 25 to 50% cheaper. Um, you do have the option of having that edge so that you don't have to relift the material. And one of my favorite things is we have, this is the wrap cut. It's red, so if you can see it real well, um, but they also have a wrap cut wire. So if you're doing something like chrome or carbon fiber, a thicker material, or you just want to make sure that that little filament isn't breaking on you because you're pulling it too fast or too hard or anything like that, um, the wrap wire is really good. So I like that a lot. It's one of my favorites. It's actually an aluminum filament and it won't break. So it's kind of hard to cut. You know what I mean? You need some scissors or a knife. But uh, if you're looking to get quality and, and reduce mistakes, that's going to be the go-to. So check it out, wrapcut.com, direct from the website, and you'll see it there. Thanks. So that was just a little bit that happened at the Printing United show. And then to the guys that stopped what they were doing to shoot a video with me, I appreciate that. Then again, this video is for those of you that are thinking of going to a show, but you don't know what to expect. This is just a little glimpse of what we did whenever we were there. The, one of the good things about these shows is you meet a lot of people. A lot of people with knowledge that have been doing this for a long time. They'll usually give you their business cards and tell you to contact them if you ever have any questions. So that's pretty cool to get some resources just in case you need to reach out to somebody. Then again, I'm not much of a vlogger. I've only done it twice. Something new to me. I usually just sit down with the computer and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and I teach you how to do it. So um, leave, leave some comments down below. Let me know how I did with those last two vlogs. I know it could be better. I'm not, I'm not going to get butthurt if you leave some bad comments. Just leave them down below. And then last, like always, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and until next time, keep pressing.